Yep, cool. Um, so just to introduce myself, I'm Maggie from um, Feature, the ASO consultant right here. So we have been like managing lots of ASO for our clients and we also do like ASO audit as a full report where we actually look at all the aspects of the app and yeah, continually optimizing for the key optimization, the creatives and yeah, that's what we usually do. My name is Ilya. I'm working in AppFollow Follow for about a year as the head of ASO now. Uh, and before, and actually right now, I'm also helping guys. I was working in uh, Avia Sales. It's a largest uh, Russian company for airline tickets. We are searching for airline tickets at hotels. And I was doing ASO there for about, uh, maybe in May, it will be the fifth year. So it's uh, four full years uh, in avia sales, and I was doing KSO for about uh, 32 countries, I guess, including Arabic, uh, Chinese, uh, Japanese, and all these uh, complicated countries. So and now I'm working as the head of ASO and doing the, uh, I guess, the best tool on the market uh, for ASO keyword research, for featuring and reviews and all this stuff. Yep, awesome. So, um, shall we just straight dive into the ASO audit right now, right? Yep. Cool. Um, just let me share up my screen right here. Um, okay. Cool. So, um, we actually did some of our homework just to, you know, go through some of the apps and see what are the best practice right there and what can be improved. So from my side, I actually picked this um, language, learning apps. Um, can you also see my screen earlier? Is it clear enough? Awesome. Then, yeah, so by picking this, the app itself, just from myself, it's just a really interesting app because they do have quite a lot of sub apps. This is their main app is submitted right here. And it also covers like a uh, lot of sub app. They have like learn German, learn Spanish, I really like it. From like analyzing this app, I'm well in feature we actually use the um, ASO stack to look at each and every aspect of the app. So basically you can divide it into like increased visibility and also increase the conversion, which is the two main aspects that we would love to look at in terms of ASO. So the first thing is um, we look at the search results and the browse result also featuring. And for featuring, this app is pretty interesting because um, I actually did that on Apps Follow. They have this great um, featuring timeline right there where um, I actually saw that they have been featured in a lot of countries um, as like lists in a collection of lists and also um, appeared as um, app of the day in some Asian country which is a really good thing where you can like, you know, get visible in lots of places where you're not necessary to search in the app store for a language app. So that is the first thing that is really doing good. I know it's kind of like time consuming when it comes to like getting feature, preparing all the assets and so, but it is really nice if you can like actively talking to your um, Apple rep regarding like having um, a featuring right there. So that is the first thing about like getting feature. The second thing I will look into is search. So search in terms of like, usually we look at the metadata itself, the title, the keyword sets, and other things. So in here, this is the install listing. Pretty straightforward, it just put out learn languages right there. That is really um, important. I guess this is one of the high volume keywords and um, an important one. So they just put it in the title. That's makes perfectly sense and that's really good. But look at the subtitle right here, where you put Spanish, French, Italian, and English right there. It's a good trick to put like high volume keywords right, keywords right there, but then you also have to like double think with that subtitle actually, you know, converting users. Because again, putting keywords, stuffing keywords there, it's not a bad thing to get like rankings, good rankings. But the other thing is when the users saw, you know, see such subtitle, would they like, you know, download the app right away? So as a comparison, 
you can see like right here as Duolingo, I guess is one of the uh, biggest competitor. Well, they actually could like learn Spanish, French and more. This is, sounds more converting, sounds more natural to all the users. So again, when you like putting in keywords into your metadata, not only consider like the volume of the keywords, but how you present it in a natural and converting way. So this is one um, interesting thing. Interestingly, they have that keyword in the title and the conversion, I mean, like the keyword ranking starts really, really high, which is pretty good. But then it declined like slowly and slowly towards like almost a hundred right now, even if they have that keyword in the title. That may cause by like a few things. Um, users searching for this keyword are not really downloading the app for this keyword. That may hurt the conversion rate and also the keyword rankings itself. The other thing might be more general is like, you know, they start with a high number of downloads, but that may due to like other um, channels that bringing in source in um, is declining. So as the um, number of downloads decline in general, all the keywords ranking decline as well. So you actually have to look into you know, lots of data because we don't have the access into the data itself. So my best guess right here is the keyword is not converting. That might be the case, like, because the subtitle chain, I mean, the subtitle is not a really natural one. Also, I guess not only for search and also the metadata, if you look downwards into like in a case, this might be not what everyone's really looking into, but in a subscription part, you can see they actually put keywords like language learning um, right there. Well, it is not so obvious, but if you put um, high volume keywords into the in-app purchase name, you actually will get better rankings for these keywords. Not only um, for the visibility, but also if you have the icon for the in-app purchase, um, you can actually occupy quite a lot of asset um, in the search result. So the thing is, if you um, searching for this app, the first uh, result usually is an uh, advertisement. The second one would be the organic listing of this app. Then if you have the subscription icon itself, it will appear as um, the subscription um, in a purchase with this icon. And if you have featuring, that will also listing features. So what happened is if you have all this, you know, organic listing, the in a purchase, and also um, the stories, the featuring, you will push all your competitors downwards. And what the users will see is a lot of, you know, information about this app that will eventually increase the conversion rate. And the next thing is, um, yeah, so, not only search, featuring, browse will also get you to the visibility, but also you can um, utilize search ads. So um, for search ads, if we look, I just have a really quick look on the app and just type in some keywords right there. I know they're doing quite um, a little bit search ads on app stores, which is really great. Uh, the next thing is you really have to be careful with um, the, the, the way you bid on keywords, because with this, say for our, some of our clients, uh, the search as the pay insults actually is cannibalizing the organics um, insults. So this is something that you might expect is kind of a pay to play game on App Store right now, but that is something you have to bear in mind and just to find your way to not to really like reduce the effect of um, cannibalization. Um, what else can I also talk about? Like, um, it's worry one smart things about this app is they actually have a lot of sub apps. So this, that is the main app that they, um, have, then they have sub apps like learn German and learn Spanish. It's not a, a bad thing. I would say if you have like learn German in the title, obviously you can rank quite high for that keyword. But again, that will kind of diverse the um, downloads from either the sub app or the general app. So that is something that is more or less related to your business decision. 
uh, whether to have like one app or you know one main app with like sub apps because this in this um, main app plus sub app uh, model you actually divert some of the downloads to the sub app which will cause that the installs to the main app is not that much while again because the rankings of uh, in general the rankings is actually based on the downloads so it is not really optimal to say you know having this kind of model but yeah actually you have to look into the data to get to the final conclusion um yeah also one thing i just noticed for this app um i am i well i i i come from hong kong so i actually noticed that um well you guys may know that chinese will have like simplified Chinese and um, traditional Chinese. In Hong Kong, we actually use traditional Chinese while the installation is using simplified Chinese. So this is definitely um, not a converting installation that teaches lessons. If you want to localize an app, please make sure that you're using the um, right keywords, right, um, well, uh, localization language. That actually applies to the case if you are doing Portuguese. The um, Brazilian Portuguese is quite different from the Portuguese around. So when you're doing localization, make sure that um, you're targeting the right language and just find someone that's really native to have a double check and double look at it. Um, I think overall the app is doing a really great job. Um, Again, it's just some tiny little stuff you can still optimize for um, the app store, app store listing where it ties into the metadata itself, uh, especially if you have like the data from App Store Connect and um, Google Console, you actually have to look into that data and dip uh, a little bit more just to understand um, about your app and where your uh, users are coming in instead of just like you know, looking around and just do what people do. Actually, Maggie, thank you for mentioning the localization stuff, because uh, for me, I am forcing the worldwide ASO for about three years already, and still uh, guys asking me questions why we should localize. It's uh, quite, it's a simple, but but you should localize. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm can show you why right now. Yeah, actually, uh, I'm choose this uh, flip a clip app it's an um, uh, animation app for drawings because actually i like this kind of apps to draw something then animate it and that's why i've decided to choose this one from our list so uh, i'm going to just uh, make a small overview of this app how it's doing uh, regarding KSO. so let's start with the uh, localization as we started uh, talking about this and we see that uh, in english uh in english uh, language it's quite good we see the great screenshots here with uh quite good pictures like draw animate or audio layers and all this stuff so but um uh, just quite uh, good description small one guys are writing the what's new notes it's a uh, uh, rare thing right now because everyone uh, is writing you know like a bug fixing and adding something and guys are writing the actually what they fixed it's quite good thank you for that but when we choose for example german so and let's load it and we see that it's in english uh it's a whole page is in english so the description uh the what's new notes the title is in english uh so there is no problem of localizing this app i guess in german because uh, it doesn't have the some maybe re regional uh, restrictions like banking apps or music apps or all this stuff. And uh, you guys definitely should localize uh, in every language possible because currently uh, we see that rankings, you get uh, not really good positions in entertainment category, but when we switch to Germany or other uh, country, you are not ranking there uh, totally. So the first thing you should do is the localization uh then we could talk about uh, uh what's new notes and it's quite good they guys something adding some in-app purchases they always writing uh actually what was new in the app 
it's quite max zoom for canvas to 5000 percent i don't know if it's good but i guess it's uh, quite a good decision so everything fine here as for reviews uh, guys are getting quite a five star reviews almost all the time except this one just five star three star four star and they are answering some reviews i guess don't know how they choose the review to answer but i guess you guys should answer for every review uh especially for this one this injured cost customer and so they purchased the full version watermark is still there so you have to deal with this guy uh and it's negative review so you have to solve this problem and maybe uh he will uh change uh, the the rating to the five star so same thing for rating uh, reviews it's quite almost all reviews are five stars same thing for ratings they are getting uh almost 50 40 positive uh, stars per day it's a quite two or maybe zero one star rating so it's uh, doesn't affect the uh, overall rating and they see that trend is from 4.6 to 4.619 so it's growing it's a rare thing today because uh, we see that uh, the average uh, uh, average review trend is uh, going down because uh, one uh, negative review can ruin uh, five or ten positive reviews so average tra trend is always going down but these guys have the uh, average tra trend is going up so that's quite a good thing uh, and the same thing for the semantic analysis for review. We see that uh, many people are writing about good, love, great app, cool, awesome, amazing, and they have some problems with the uh, audio, I guess, crashed, and that I think uh, developers to fix something. So overall, uh, I think with the, um, uh, this app, uh, in case of ratings and reviews, are great. So these guys were featured in China uh for november 6 on 2019 18 and it's got a personal story with the picture screenshots uh and they see that uh, it's a quite a good choice of feature it's a how-to story and uh, i guess guys got lots of browse downloads because of this feature uh as for keyword ranking we see that uh, guys are ranking high maybe one or three five position for low popularity keywords but it's 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 okay but when we come to the high popularity keywords they're ranking 12 they're ranking 15 10 10 uh character rate is 18 so i guess guys have to work with the the keywords just uh, maybe uh to uh, switch the cartoon animation keyword to something else like uh, maybe animation creator or something like this to rank uh, higher popularity keywords for higher positions and uh, the best animation app is a quite good uh, subtitle for the conversion rate because uh, well, maybe some people see the best animation app and can download it but also it's better to include some keywords here uh, because you see when you talk that this is the best uh, everybody else talking that their animation apps are the best so it's uh, i guess uh, it's better to include some keywords here so in rankings we just talk about rankings and the some feature timeline we just see that uh, for some reason uh, people uh, app store reviewers in china loves this app and they got to feature it uh, last year in china so as for the uh title i guess it's better to uh now it's this title i guess it's better to uh set the uh, another symbol here to make the small users like on uh, iphone x they they will see the so you see now they don't see the cartoon and don't know what is cartoon now they they can see that it's cartoon so and uh, as a last uh, advice here uh, i think that guys should try the video i don't know if they tried uh, the video already but uh, i think that this is the kind kind of app when you should uh, implement a video here just to show how it's drawing how it's animating and uh, maybe some ctas uh, to download an app and try to make the personal video of animated drawing or something like this i 
actually don't uh, usually recommend apps to use the video because uh, usual apps I don't need the video. Uh, it's a games who need the video, but uh, this app particularly, this app needs the video. I think they should show how it's working and uh, how your drawing uh, became the beautiful animation. So what can we recommend here? First of all, it's localizing. So you have to localize to all these languages, uh, to Japanese, uh, Chinese. I saw that uh, guys have a localization to Spanish one, but uh, it's only the title and without subtitle there. So you have to localize to all the uh, possible languages because I don't see anything that uh, stops you from doing this. And also you have tried to make the video for, for your uh, app page. You can start with the, just a small video uh, about uh, how it's working without any special effects or something else. So and anything else, it's quite good. Also, you have a great uh, app size, about 50 megabytes. It's quite good. And uh, so work with your keywords, localize your app and try the video. So I think we are, it's a small audit for this app and we can now start Adobe scanner, or oh, AB scanner, sorry. Yeah, I'm looking at it. So again, um, for us is, well, we are working on the scan app as well, actually. Um, usually we, we would like to have the app name in the icon that actually, well, for most of our clients that actually push the conversion rate. Uh, that is the first thing I can observe right here. And um, I'm not so sure about the, the title right here, scan to PDF as OCR. Um, I mean, it's, it's great, like it's really clear as a scanner right here, but um, I guess if, while well, users are searching for this kind of search term, they will have like tons of similar apps right here. So the point is to how to differentiate yourself against all the other scan apps. One thing you could do is um, brand image, adding the brand name and having like really differentiated elements right there. Um, that would be my first impressions. What do you think? Uh, actually, I'm agreed with this about the icon, and I know that AB is a quite a strong brand, and I, I think they should use it. Uh, I see that that uh, they have AB Fine Scanner title on the screenshot, but uh, mm -hmm. I think they can uh, make it on the icon, for example, or something like this. And also, mm -hmm. I will recommend them. As, as for keyboard, I guess the OCR is the one of the popular keywords in the episode, mm -hmm. uh, maybe, and they're trying to target it. And maybe mm -hmm. like OCR documents or OCR scanner app. I see here lots of keywords like a book scanner, document scanner, yeah. scanner app. And, but y you see they are repeating the uh, words in title and subtitle. Mm -hmm. I guess yeah. they, they, they sh shouldn't do this uh, mm -hmm. to save the, uh, symbols yep. also, you can do a rank for the keywords even you just put it in one time you don't have to replace the keyword yeah you should uh, put your strongest keyword in this in the title and then uh, you can make combinations from subtitle so also I can recommend them to think about screenshots like it's going mm -hmm. to be there it's 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 okay but maybe they can show you this for example, I'm scanning the book and not maybe this book, maybe document and boom, it's becoming a, a beautiful PDF. Maybe mm -hmm. they could think about video or something like this to increase conversion rate. So as I see, they don't have uh, lots of ratings, uh, just mm -hmm. about 11,000 here, as well, but they're a good one. So I think they should uh, implement the in-app uh, rating request to get mm -hmm. about maybe uh, 100,000 of ratings to uh, be more confident for users. So mm -hmm. I guess they should make something with icon screenshots and also mm -hmm. remove the duplicating thing from the subtitle. Yeah, so, um, for, for screenshots, I would also recommend like testing the, um, the, the portrait screenshot against the uh, um, landscape screenshot. How can you test that? Actually, you can test it on the ASA creative sets um, where you can you know, upload all the screenshots and in the creative sets, you can pick like free screenshots and test it You know, whether the conversion rate will increase having the portrait um, screenshots right there. And also looking, into, uh, looking at the captions, 
um, scan to PDF, I mean, it's really clear. And but the test downwards there, I don't really see it clearly. Um, yeah, you may again like, and either you enlarge the captions or you may change to something really based on value proposition, not so featuring like, yeah, people know that it's a scan at a scan to PDF, but then what kind of values it brings to the users? That is something that we want to communicate. Yeah, totally agreed. And uh, maybe if you guys don't know, Apple searches allows you to test your uh, screenshots. You just uh, upload uh, 10 screenshots, for example, uh, to your account, and then you select the, you create a campaign in the searches, and you, then you select there what screenshots you want to use in this campaign. And this way, you can create, for example, two or three campaigns with different screenshots, and you can test them, uh, test the CTR test the install rate and all the stuff so just a uh, usual mm -hmm. A-B testing like in Google Play. Okay. Yeah. So um, just go. one thing to note there, it is not clearly A-B test because um, it is not the very same keywords will break into the, the, the um, screenshot itself. It somehow would be divide like if you're having a really high converting keywords and bring it to those screenshot that you're testing, you have a obviously greater you know, conversion rate. So it is not a clear A-B test. What we usually do, we used to test the creative sets in um, competitors' campaign. That gives us the, mo the most fair result that we can get. Yeah, agreed. Also, you can use the like, general search terms, the not, not using, uh, and the, uh, add uh, your brand name to the negative keywords, like to, mm -hmm. to make the test more clear. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. let's go next one, and it's the Alphabet Kids Games. So I see the guys also trying to may include as many keywords in the subtitle as they could. Yeah. Learning app, letters learn, Alphabet app, I guess, learning alphabet. So it's quite mm -hmm. good. But the icon, I see it's uh, maybe it's for me looking just a strange one like from uh, 90s, but maybe for <laughs> the for the parents and for 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 kids it's uh, quite funny and uh, they see that yeah. love letters and phonics here mm -hmm. so maybe for this target audience it's quite good so mm -hmm. what else we can see here oh they have a video you see mm -hmm. yeah a, i saw that a, yeah abc inbox bitty bambini it's a quite good mm -hmm. video but i think it's uh, more for kids than for parents as i as i guess the uh mm -hmm. When uh, some kids want to learn learn uh, alphabet and uh, phonics, it's a parent who download this app. So maybe yeah. they should uh, think about the video here. And actually, yeah. it's available for iPad. Yeah. Um, another thing I would like to yeah, looking at the iPad screenshots because usually this kind of kids app parents download it um, on the iPad instead of the. Um, um, iPhone, so the iPad screenshots actually are more important than the iPhone screenshots. Um, looking at the screenshots, yeah, looking at the screenshots right here, um, I mean, I can see the captions, but I don't really, the value proposition doesn't really pop out right here. So what you can do is to like highlight, you know, if it's like a games right here, what can you play with the elements instead of just showing the in-app screenshots right there. The other thing you can do is you can actually add better devices for um, that screenshots and you can use so called of like pop up um, UI where you actually have um, a box, you lift it up a bit in a 3D dimension so you can actually highlight the um, elements or the really, you know, juice part of the app. Yeah, actually, maybe you can show you something with the kids, like how our kids are playing with the app, how it's mm -hmm. how it's uh, working inside. It's just uh, usual unique learning method. You see, uh, every app has a unique learning method. I think assemble characters. They also so it's just a common uh, CTAs here. Uh, maybe you should uh, try CTAs with something that your app is really unique in. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have some unique. Uh, uh, technologies or something uh, funny things that your users mm -hmm. like. So maybe you should uh, write more about this here. So, but current screenshots is funny and they uh, maybe they are showing 
I don't know what we should do with this cat here. Maybe it's uh, we should put it um, in the box. So <laughs> it's quite complicated yeah. <laughs> to understand what we should do here with the cat. So you should think about this uh, to uh, understand what what we are uh, talking about. And uh, do you remember, Maggie, uh, on the mm -hmm. when app uh, when app has the landscape screenshots? Is we see mm -hmm. only one screenshot on the search results in iPad? Yeah, usually uh, you only yeah. want to do the landscape screenshots. Yeah, we see only one landscape screenshot on the search mm -hmm. results. So the only screenshot uh, your users see uh, when they're searching for, for example, Alphabet Kid Games, they see only this screenshot. So mm -hmm. uh, I guess uh, the developer should think about the screenshots without and make it more useful uh, without this. I don't know what happened with this mm -hmm. cat, uh, but yeah. maybe something more special uh, about this app. So this is it. Yeah. Yeah, talking okay. about like usual, like, you know, you need point on the first first uh, screenshots. There's one um, trick that we use from um, quite a lot of clients that we call as a social proof, where if you usually, you know, this kind of apps, you have uh, perhaps uh, some certificate or some um, certifications from an institution, or if you have like how many, you can actually state how many users are using this app, uh, what is the target, like what age range of the uh, children who use this app, maybe it's that app or Apple, all this kind of social proof, like proving that people are actually using this app, lots of people are using this app. This is a really great um, convincing statement that you can use on the first screenshots, especially for this kind of apps because you were asking for trust from the um, parents. Um, it is a really great trick if you just state it on the very first um, screenshots, especially if you have those like icons or um, a batch from institutions or like organizations. Yeah, totally agreed. It's uh, completely important for the parents when they are uh, selecting the app for their kids, they want to select the best one. So maybe if you have some social proofs, yes, from parents, maybe it can be like awesome learning tool fantastic education games like uh, mm -hmm. this app. You can put this on the screenshots, uh, like uh, other parents will see that it's a, it's a really good app. Okay, it's one cell scouting, satellite field monitoring. Oh, it's a quite, it's a Google Maps for, for it's a quite a field notes. Sorry. Ah, I mm -hmm. see. This is the field monitoring. It's when you farmer, you have your fields, mm -hmm. and you need to monitor them from satellite. It's a oh, uh, interesting. <laughs> it, really interesting. So the first thing mm -hmm. I see here that this app has a video, and maybe mm -hmm. guys, you know, there's maybe a couple months ago, Google Play changed the layout and now the video is not showing on the top of the screen it's showing instead your screenshots so mm -hmm. if you guys don't have the great the uh, great snapshot here or you don't need video you have to remove it because uh i open the page and they see uh this uh, play button and the title of the uh, app and i don't know what is this about but if i see th this screenshot or this one mm -hmm. For example, I should definitely understand what is this app about. I guess mm -hmm. not many users uh, are using this app as I see there was just one, uh, 175 reviews here. But mm -hmm. uh, to increase conversion rate, you definitely should remove this video. Or uh, if you mm -hmm. don't want to remove it, you should test it uh, like a, make an A-B test in Google Play with video or without video and try to understand what is working better. Yeah, exactly. Um, am I not seeing the short description right here? Yeah, it's a monitor your field and crop performance with satellite. Uh, okay, cool. I can cool. make it. Maybe we'll see. So, <laughs> satellite field monitoring, I see that guys are trying to include keywords in satellite field monitoring. They include mm -hmm. the field. Also, they are repeating uh, keywords from the from the title, but I guess it's no way uh, to write the short description without repeating because it's like a monetary field. It's like CTA, uh, crop mm -hmm. performance, and they're using the uh, vault, and I see the emojis here. So it's uh, yeah. 
one. That's a really good trick. Some of, sometimes we see that emoji really push the conversion rate. That while that actually for some of the markets only, so you have to actually do A B test just to make sure that actually pushing the conversion rate before you applying to all the locals or like applying all the like solid things. Um, yeah. I'm gonna can we scroll down a bit to look at the reviews and um, ratings. Yeah, I see. Yeah, okay. Maybe I should the and share over there. Mm -hmm. uh, to see. No, it's. Uh, I guess I should ask it there. It's fun. Oh uh, no, they are. They have some. Oh uh, yeah, here are the English reviews. Mm -hmm. And they are writing about the very useful app, amazing, beautiful old map. And, uh, okay, so not, not many reviews here. Mm -hmm. Very useful. Yeah. So, because what I'm seeing here is the, the, the ratings, the average star ratings um, is 3.9. I think there's still room to improve for like such a neat app. Well, you can consider like having an um, in-app prompt for the review prompt or the rating prompt so you can actually do it just to push like the rankings. And it's really important if you are doing such in-app prompt. Well, what we say is find a happy moment where the user is using the app, such as like um, completing such, um, certain stage or certain um, actions where they feel like the app is useful and value for them, then you prompt them with the uh, ratings and review form that will actually increase the uh, average rating pretty quick. Yeah, we see that uh, rating 3.9 and it can uh, lower your conversion rate. For example, if someone is looking for the satellite field monitoring and they see the 3.9 for your app and they see, for example, 5.0 for a competitor's app, I personally would download the competitor's one because uh, mm -hmm. it's, it has higher ratings, it maybe has uh, more reviews, so people trust mm -hmm. it more. So uh, you should uh, uh, you should work with your ratings. It's uh, it's really important here. Also, yeah. I guess maybe we can change the country, for example, like I mm -hmm. live in Spain and I want to track my, I want to Spain. Oh, oh you see, they have localization for the Spanish. Oh. Oh, nice. Yeah, well, yeah, nice, but they have the English screenshots here. Yeah, uh, it's a cool as well. Yeah, so I guess the farmers around the world can use your app for the field tracking. It's a quite good one. Mm -hmm. But you should localize your screenshots as well. Uh, start with the countries w uh, where you have most of downloads and then mm -hmm. move on and try to increase your conversion rate. Also, I don't know, I'm not a farmer, so I don't know if the one soil scouting is a popular brand, uh, but if not, uh, you have to change the, uh, you have to change the order, like the monitor, uh, it's a, a complicated to read. Mm -hmm. So you have to put this stuff in the beginning and then uh, put your brand. So people in search results will see, the, first of all, they see this one. Mm -hmm. uh, this text and uh, they will understand what is your app is about. Maybe mm -hmm. also you have to add some satellite images or something else to your icon because in Google Play, mm -hmm. uh, everything you see in Google Play in search results is just the icon in the title. So you have mm -hmm. to take care about your title and maybe add something with the satellite images to your icon. So people understand that it's really connected with the fields, farmers and uh, satellites. Okay, quite good. Okay, so next one is the health app. Uh, it's uh, in German. And uh, do you know German, mm -hmm. Maggie? <laughs> Um, a little bit. I'm still learning, even though I'm in Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you see, uh, as for me, I know the word app here uh -huh. and, and health one. Okay, mm -hmm. so maybe it's, if it's available in the United States, let's check this. Yep, sure. States. And no, it's not available in the United States. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go back and try to see the uh, German page. Okay, yeah. I see that they have the beautiful uh, thing with a uh, description, become a dynamic mm -hmm. in the brief. Uh, actually, I don't know what's written here, but I think something you have become something. 
Okay, then. So I really like the splash screen, the first screen right here. I guess there are some logos down there. I, I can't really see. Uh, yeah, but I guess there's something, um, again, maybe that's a social proof where you can actually boost your um, conversion. That is a really good trick. I like it. Um, splash screen is not something um, usually will do on uh, um, App Store, but it is not a bad idea at all, especially if your brand image is pretty strong. You can just prompt users with um, the brand image right there, they will just recognize it instead of like really looking into the um, screenshots itself. So that's a really good trick. Yeah, so uh, also I see that they have some, uh, I guess it's connected to the heart. So you have to track your heartbeat here, maybe with the Apple Watch or other stuff. And also mm -hmm. you can track your medication here. You, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's just half tracking. Maybe it's uh, sending to the, your doctor or something like this. And mm -hmm. you, you should see, it's a quite a good screenshots here. Mm, uh, yeah. But you see, I, I think that's a problem that is quite small text here. And mm -hmm. uh, sure. maybe guys should uh, make some magnifier to show you, you the most important things here, like the 70% of something with your heart. So maybe mm -hmm. it should be bigger, like with the magnifier to show you what this really app is about. For example, here yeah. I can track my medication. For example, if I need them, uh, I can track my medication and my blood pressure. And I see mm -hmm. that uh, this magnifier, big one, big screen and I see that really I can track everything with my health here in this app. Uh, yeah. Also, I like the icon here. It's a quite a contrast one and uh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I do have a question for the second screenshot. It stays there uh, beautifully, but I don't see that is so much information or the valid proposition right there. Um, yeah, you may consider like adding uh, captions right there or enlarging certain um, UI right there just to make that screenshot really meaningful. Because for most of the um, App Store users, when you go on the search result, they only see the first three free, uh, free screenshots. So put all the information that you want your users to know in these free screenshots and really utilize the second screenshots right there instead of like just having a plain um, screenshots right there. Uh, actually, I can add some more information here. I mm -hmm. guess the blue, blue druk, it's a complicated word. It's a blood pressure, I think. Uh -huh. So it's a blood pressure tracking uh, app. And also they make the same error as the first step. They are repeating the one keyword uh, mm -hmm. in the title and subtitle. Also, yeah. I don't know if the uh if the cora health is a famous brand in germany but if you don't you also have to uh, put the deep blood drug app in the beginning and then uh cora health because people who are yeah. searching for your app they see only only the part of your uh title in the search results so you mm -hmm. have to show them uh, what is your app is doing also, mm -hmm. I like this minimalistic style of screenshots, but you definitely have to add something to you to the second screenshot. Yeah. Okay. Um, talking about screenshots, I for all the apps that we have seen here, usually they have like a flat design right here. Um, other than like flat design, you actually having the angle phone, which you like turn that a little bit more and having a 3D um, image right there, sometimes it boosts the conversion rate as well, depending on which market you're targeting, not only like this standard flat design. Yeah. So as we understood that it's a blood pressure app, I guess they should uh, highlight this one when you see that uh, your current blood pressure is uh, quite good. It's in uh, almost green zone. So it's uh, mm -hmm. every, everything good with you. So I guess this is uh, the thing you should know and uh, try to highlight uh, this area and to check the conversion rate after that. Oh, it's a uh, all-in-one online shopping app in the shop uh, online. It's, uh, I, I recognize the ASO guy here, just, uh, to, just to include all possible keywords in the title, but repeat the <laughs> online one two times. Uh, yeah. And uh, it's great uh, screenshot design here. Uh, I like that. Yes, yeah, same thing, emojis here, the uh, Valentine's gift, Valentine's Day offer, cheap, or I guess uh, this developer is uh, aiming the Valentine's Day keywords here. 
Yeah. And give for boys, Amazon. So, oh, you know, Google can punish you for the, for that, for this. Uh, uh, keyword stuffing. For this, yeah, this keyword stuffing. Uh, so it's a yeah. big, big description, and I definitely see that ASO guy did did this stuff here. What can yeah. we suggest here? First of all, I don't know what is the target audience for this app, and maybe this kind of icon, like the shop on app, this box mm -hmm. with Amazon, Uber. What is Uber doing there, actually? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's really interesting. I mean, I can, I can recognize uh, there are logos right there, but that doesn't really communicate so well, like why are those logos right there and what it does with like the shopping thing. Um, yeah, icon is definitely something you can test again to, just to find more like um, variants or like design just to communicate the thing. Um, having the big test like shop on app right there might not be a very um, good idea. I would say you can because it's good to have like your brand name in icon, but not so dominant because you still want the icon to be visual and recognizable instead of like punching so many texts right there. Because currently, if you do your search result on Google Play, you can actually see so many texts already. And sometimes you just want to avoid like reading so much again. Uh, yeah, agreed. So also, if you have the so many app stores, uh, actually, not just stores in your app, uh, you can target these keywords like uh, Amazon deals, uh, M what uh, stores aliexpress deals practio deals so you have so many keywords to target here but i don't see that you are targeting mm -hmm. uh, anything like bre only only brands just amazon snap deal just keyword stuffing with brands and uh mm -hmm. the updated google algorithm is seeing this thing uh it sees that you are doing keyword stuffing and it, it can lower your positions in uh, search results so don't do mm -hmm. the keyword stuffing it's it doesn't work anymore just try mm -hmm. try to compose the uh compose the description for humans like uh yeah. this instantly uh what is the app i guess this app doesn't have a title yeah uh, uh, i don't really see the app name yeah. right here yeah. What is the title? So maybe this app, uh, shop on app. Yeah, I see. Shop on app okay. has a great Valentine's gift deals on Amazon. Uh, maybe a gift for boys on AliExpress. So try to uh, target these keywords. Try to target your competitors. Try to target your uh, your stores that you have inside. So it's a yeah. it's a quite good meta search for stores like when you don't want to check uh, all the stuff like Amazon, AliExpress, uh, other stores uh, by by yourself. You can mm -hmm. use this app. Okay, let's check the localization. It's a uh, what country? Oh, one thing regarding there? like um, keywords right here because shopping as usual they they have like seasonality. Uh, Black Fridays, Christmas, Valentine's. It is really um, crucial if you like add those keywords into your description during that period of time that actually push quite a lot uh, in terms of keyword rankings, not only on Google Play, but also um, on app stores. Yeah, totally agreed. And uh, uh, actually, we have thousands of shopping apps in the app store and google play and it's quite hard to rank uh high uh with all these competitors but you can mm -hmm. you can try to use all the stores uh, not this stuff like the uh keyword stuffing like here or something you can do it more more uh more beautiful i think mm -hmm. to, to think about your app remove uber from here because i uber doesn't sell goods and uh, <laughs> trying to make your app looking more beautiful, not just this uh, creation. Maybe it's sure. not a designer thing. So check this, all this stuff and remove the keyword stuff in, uh, in your description because you, you, can, you can be banned for this. Yep. Uh, it's a fun crossword game. Oh, I like crosswords. Oh, you see it's Comic Sans here ah. on, on, on the screenshots. It's so beautiful. Nice, I love it. <laughs> I didn't no, see, yeah, didn't for see me the comic first... sounds. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you, you can start. Sorry. Yeah, uh, just for me, like the captions, I like the colors on the background, but the text is not so visible, it's not so readable for me. 
Um, yeah, especially if you're, you know, seeing that on the very small devices. Um, yeah, you can actually do something. Either you bold it using other color because uh, white is not really a really readable color so on all these really beautiful colors right there. Um, try to find some way to palm that captions out. And the second thing I would say is the caption is a bit too long. Um, you have like two full lines right there. Um, a trick you can do is to enlarge one of the big important keywords and have the others really small down there. That is totally fine. The thing is people have to grab the, the really key value proposition at the first sight instead of reading the whole sentence or the whole captions. Yeah, totally agreed. And the point here is uh, uh, several common mistakes here. First of all, you uh, put your brand name in the first position. It's about DVT. I, mm. For me, I didn't hear about this brand. So you don't need mm. uh, this brand in the first position. Put the fun crossword game in the first. So users will see yeah. that this is fun crossword game and then it's nobody cares what is a brand if it's not uh, uh, Amazon mm. or something like this. At in, mm. in, even Amazon, we don't. I don't care if it's Amazon or Apple or Google or anything. I, I see the fun crossword game and I download it because I like crosswords on my on my phone. Mm -hmm. And second sure. error is the best. Maybe for you, yeah. for for me, it's the best game, but. Uh, don't waste time, uh, don't waste space here for the best word. Maybe you are trying to aim the best brain game or best word game. And I have to see, of course, I have to see how high you rank for these uh, keywords. But if mm -hmm. you're ranking uh, maybe place 20 or 30, you should definitely remove uh, this best word here. Mm -hmm. uh, but I see that uh, this Elik, sorry, I don't, I don't, I, I, I think I can uh, wrongly pronounce your name, but uh, the mm -hmm. developer are uh, trying to aim some keywords like the fun crossword game, brain training, mm -hmm. fun brain game, training, and brain also, brain. yeah, they're repeating the game word in the title and mm -hmm. subtitle, don't do this. And uh, as for icon, it's, uh, it's quite simple one, but it's... Yeah. That I is not, but um, still, it's not so recognizable uh, among all the crossword games, I guess. Um, but yeah, maybe you can enlarge um, the, the word a little bit more just to get it more visible. Other than that, um, yeah, I guess that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a quite, can be bigger words. And as for uh, screenshots, it's a, uh, also the same mistake here it's a, you you are writing just a fun word game and uh, this is this is not telling me anything about your uh, about your crossword game because it's mm. just a fun word game please uh, add here something about the uh, what is special about your word games maybe you have some special activities here or maybe challenges or something like these just the different words in each puzzle so i don't see the i won't see the repeating words in each uh, crossword so try to write on the first screenshot what is mm -hmm. the the best thing in your in your game also don't write uh, so many words here because mm -hmm. on the yeah. small phone you you don't see them just the, yeah. we can make it lower and boom and you don't see what is written here mm -hmm. so, so, so um, yeah, for games, you actually can get a lot of, uh, we, I think we have a best practice um, article coming out regarding games. Uh, what, what you can add to there instead of like having, like we have a fun game, we have a word in games, you can actually mention like how many levels that you have, like how many words you can have, how many games you can play with that. Some kinds of numbers usually also boost the conversion. And um, yeah, mention like how many users are playing the game per day, or how many challenges you can encounter in the game. That also, you know, get people excited about the game. Yeah, absolutely agree. So uh, in games, the screenshots uh, are the 
uh, are really important because maybe some people are looking for your game through the browse. They're just going to the games. They select the, uh, I don't know what is the category here. We don't see the, yeah, what is the category. Yeah. They are just browsing the categories. Like I want action games and I look on the icons, I look on the screenshots and I don't search for them. So mm -hmm. you, you should work with your screenshots definitely here. Mm -hmm. Sure. 